Okay, so picked up this long ranger fuselage. This is 60 size, 700. Picked it up from Jet Tech Models and thought I would put, um, instead of building another helicopter, I thought I'd take a helicopter that I have and put it in the body. And I decided that I would use my E5 Synergy. This is 600 size, so I've got to change the boom. I started to dry fit the mechanics in here, and it's going to take a lot of work, to say the least. So first thing I got to do is lengthen the tail boom, obviously. So that means a new boom, um, talk tube. I've also got to the elevator servo. Um, it's got it's just hitting over here, just hitting a little bit. So I got to move that in, but moving that in. Um, let me see if I can get it. Moving the servo in means that the, I'm going to try to keep this steady for you guys. These, the, I've got to change the, the way the ball link connects to the, I'm going to have to take the link and put it on the other side. So I got to shim the servo in, the B stacks is in the way. So that is going to have to move back, which is no problem. That's that's easy. That I could do. I've already taken that off. And you got to get rid of these canopy mounts. And other than that, I don't think it'll be bad, except for the tail. Now the tail, the tail rod, um, the tail control rod is not going to work because. It's just not enough room inside the fuse. Not enough room back here for as much as this hangs down. So I'm thinking maybe golden rod and I could strap it to the boom maybe. I don't know. I'll see. But <clears throat> I've already dry fitted the, now the Synergy tail. You can see this thing is so wide. But it's still gonna fit in there. Yeah, I got a, this is a, a line tail. Let's see. You could see the difference in the width of this. That's from a, like a 700, 800 a line. And this is the E6, so you see how much wider it is. But it's still, still gonna fit in here and get the boom straight. So that's that one problem solved. So um, I was just going to do this and I seen how much work it's going to take. So I figured I'd do a video. So this is the beginning. And as I get going on it, I will update this and show you my progress. But, you know, um, these things also hit. I don't they won't hit actually. It's just that where these linkage rods come through is like right right here. So I'm gonna have to relieve quite a bit. But I think it'll work. Got all the parts, the, uh, the windows, what landing gear for it. So tail cone. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Thanks.